the left is becoming dangerous and radicalized. Let me tell you about some of the things that's been happening on my tour. I will, by the way, have the full Totnes footage uploaded, so the entire event. Uh, again, it was a really good one, and there's some really good stuff in there. Uh, especially the conversations after the protesters got tired and wandered off. Uh, they were the best ones, um, by far, and there are some real gems in there. But anyway, so when I was in Totnes, I was attacked by a mob of radical leftists that had been whipped up by irresponsible reporting, like on Devon Live here by Anita Merritt. <laughs> Anita Merritt. Oh my god, it's like, I need some merit. The controversial UKIP candidate arrives in Totnes today. So this was obviously written before I was attacked. But, um, yesterday he stopped off at Plymouth, blah, blah, blah. He was reportedly refused to apologize for the comment, despite, dis despite attracting widespread criticism and calls for UKIP to sack him. You know why? Because I didn't do anything fucking wrong, that's why. I don't care if you're offended, and I don't have to care that you're offended. Stop bringing it up if you don't like it. Try that. His visit to uh, Tottenham at noon today was wel not being welcomed by many local residents. Yeah, but it was welcomed by many local residents. I mean, there were about, what, 50, 60 people supporting me, and then, like, about 100 uh, middle-class hippie Ramonas, I guess is the best way to call them. But Totnes is famous for being a very left-wing town, so the fact that I got so much support there in the face of what you've been whipping up here is rather impressive, I would say, and I can't wait to go back. Anyway... A spokesperson for Totnes Together Against Hate Group said, Why didn't you ask me for a fucking comment? Why are they the ones getting the comment and not me? Why would- I'm the ca I'm the bloody candidate here, why would you not ask me for a comment on people attacking me? I mean, look at these- look at these very sensible and obviously not violent thugs. Jesus. Using the pretext of the European election, these attention seekers and darlings of the alt-right have decided to have some fun, according to the UKIP Totnes website, the expense of Totnes and its citizens, against you, you radical bullies, you left-wing lunatics who do not understand the damage you're doing. You don't know what the alt-right is, and you shouldn't talk about it, because, again, you're normalizing Nazism. You are making it palatable by saying that I'm that thing. Because I am a fucking liberal, and what I believe actually is normal, believe it or not, to the rest of the country, and not to lunatic lefties. Anyway, local activists and community members will gather at an alternative venue to show solidarity with victims of hate speech, including women parliamentarians Joe Cox and Jess Phillips. How virtuous. Why did you come and attack me then? Why was I attacked if you guys were showing solidarity elsewhere? Hmm? We deplore Benjamin's use of rape threats, libel, currently under investigation by the police. When are they going to contact me? Interestingly, I'll be contacting them, but I'll tell you why in a minute. Both men's regular use of racist tropes, jokes, deal with it. Their active wooing of white supremacists, not true. Conspiracy theorists, not true. And their designation of feminism as a cancer, it fucking is. We know that Yiannopoulos was recently banned from Australia for blaming the Christchurch Mosque mas Massacre on the establishment pandering to barbaric alien cultures. I didn't know about that. We affirm Totnes is a place of peace, progress, and tolerance where these ideas have no place, which means you're going to attack literally everyone who doesn't believe the same thing as you. That is hardly peace, progress, and tolerance, I would say, but hey, what do I know? Protests at the attendant event in Rutherford will include speakers from major progressive parties. There'll be mu music and milkshakes shaken, not thrown. Well, why was it that I was attacked then? Why was I attacked? And it, by the way, I'll be pressing charges against the guy who attacked me, just so I'll be pressing charges against the guy who attacked me in Salisbury. These are the two times I've been hit. This is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, I... I I can't even believe this has become something popular among left-wingers at this point. If you can't hold a conversation with someone, if you literally can't bear to speak to someone, that makes you look fragile. It makes you look frail. It makes it look like you're not correct. Your side of the argument is just wrong, and you know it, which is why you have to take violent action against people. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the liberal here who thinks that violence shouldn't have any particular place in our bloody political dialogue. Wiltshire police officers, blah, blah, blah. See, now, th this is actually a lot more fair reporting from the Salisbury Journal, right? They actually just speak in neutral terms. Wiltshire police officers say, uh, say its officers intervened during a campaign event by Carl Benjamin in the city yesterday and took the man who launched the drink away. Yeah. The spokesperson said, a man in his 30s was arrested on suspicion of committing a public order offence during a UKIP protest. Well, it was a rally, but never mind. In the Sa Salisbury city centre on May the 19th. There we go. I was attacked by a radical leftist 
again. Because radical leftists are dangerous people and they cannot be fucking trusted to be civil. They don't know what they believe and therefore when they start getting these beliefs questioned, they get angry and violent as we have seen. This is hardly the first. I mean, we've been, we've been watching the last, what, four or five years of Antifa violence all across the West. All across the West. I mean, like, Milo has had it, Ben Shapiro has had it, to unbelievable degrees. It's happening constantly in Portland. You could follow Andy No, which is N-G-O. Uh, he's a, a, a man of um, Eastern descent who is in Portland and reports on this. And uh, they've taken over, apparently, some parts of the entire city, some, like, intersections and whatnot. So it's like, this is getting way out of hand. This is mob justice. This is violent mob thuggery done by the left. And everywhere I see this being reported, there are leftists going, ha ha, this is brilliant, this is brilliant, this is brilliant. It's not, and you certainly wouldn't react that way if it was being done in reverse. So be careful with what you wish for. You just might get it. Anyway, this stated that the, pro that the officers were in attendance at the protest, and that's, again, why we have to have the police there, because you can't be trusted to be civil. This stated that the protest continued peacefully and anyone failing to comply with the order would be arrested. No one, none of my supporters, is it? My supporters are all peaceful. They are non-violent, democratic, liberal-minded people who want to just discuss the current issues of the day. The left are the ones who are going nuts about that. How fragile do you have to be? Say, no, we can't have any kind of conversation with this guy. We have to try and kill him. We have to try and attack him, assault him, do whatever it is we want to him. How the fuck can you justify this? So anyway, when Nigel Farage also gets milkshaked, he vows to press charges against the radicalized Romana, which he was. Turns out the guy was Jeremy Corbyn supporting Ramona, who literally was the, the, the sort of like the farthest left on the political spectrum that you can imagine. Why is this being tolerated? Why is this generally accepted by the left? Like, I saw a tweet by the Liberal Democrats with a picture of me saying we condone this kind of a thing. And all the responses were socialists going, no, you should encourage it. You should like this. You should like it. I had a debate with a Liberal Democrat when I was in, I think it was Exeter. And I was just like, sat there going, no, you've been subverted by socialists. And by the end of it, he literally was just like, well, I guess I can't really argue the point. You're damn right you can't fucking argue the point. And do you know what he did afterwards? He came swanning around with a fucking milkshake and poured it over Milo. Right? That's what these little shits do when they lose the argument. Because they are, at the core of it, violent leftist radicals. Socialist radicals. Whether they call themselves liberals, whether they call themselves progressives, whatever it is, they are actually the same sort of people that end up becoming fascists. Which is why they're attacking their political opponents rather than discussing things with them. They can't win. And they know it. They know their ideas are bunk. They know they can't have these discussions. They know they can't win them. And they know they can't stand up to any kind of scrutiny. These people people should be cracked down on by the police there should be i mean absolutely like mcdonald's had to be told not to fucking sell milkshakes because violent left wingers could not be trusted to be civil in british society in 2019 this is where we are the left has become so radical they think it's acceptable to attack their political opposition tony blair of all fucking people came out and said look i really hate this I really hate this. This is the worst thing that you can do. This is, I mean, it's literally the left tearing apart democratic dialogue and just the, the, the social fabric of the fucking country. Like, do you understand how bad this is? What happens when the first person gets fucking stabbed? Oh, you go, oh, well, but what about Joe Cox? Fucking what about her? Fuck the Nazi that did this. He got exactly what he deserved. Fucking life in prison. Exactly what he fucking deserved. Right? I don't even disagree that the guy who egged Jeremy Corbyn should get a month in jail. Yes, he should get fucking jail. You don't attack politicians. You don't attack anyone. Especially not democratically re elected representatives or candidates for such positions. Because that's the core of the fucking political life in this country. It's what prevents us from having civil wars. The safety of pol political candidates and politicians in this country is paramount. As much as anyone else... For the love of God, why can't the left even think about what they're doing? And yet they'll just sit there smugging, ha 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 ha, we're so, we're so tolerant and enlightened that we'll attack people who disagree with us. That's just an expression of power. That's just you saying, yeah, we know we've got the reins of command at the moment. We know it, and we're going to act like it. But it won't be forever, and then you'll fucking regret it, won't you? Because what kind of precedent will you have set? Fuck me, I hate what the left is doing to the West. I hate it. It's irresponsible, it's dangerous, and it's going to continue escalating, isn't it? 
at what point do you stop? What is the distinguishing limiting principle that the left is operating under so they don't end up just murdering their political opponents like they did in previous eras, I might hasten to say. If we're going to talk about body counts, well done leftists, you're, you're winning again. You've got all the fucking bodies stacked up and you don't care. As far as you're concerned, that was justified, isn't it? Honestly, if you're a fucking socialist in this country, you are a piece of shit. I have honestly come to that point. Like, this must be roundly condemned by everyone. And anyone who doesn't condemn it is saying that it's okay for it to happen to them. And if that's the case, I guess I'll be going to McDonald's, won't I?